get freckles that way. Stop reading over my shoulder. Any problems? Only a peeping Sam. Girl, watch on your own time. I don't understand it. The sun is so delicious up here. What's so fascinating down there? Maybe it's a peace and quiet. The shark kills only when he's hungry. It's going to be all right, Maggie. Yeah. That's what I keep telling myself. each other like two alley cats. Oops. Sorry, Bruce. No offense intended. Here, let me help you with that. Terrible? Just terrible. What's well, only a zipper? No, I mean the freckles. You know, I have a cream. Just the thing. Some other time, Aunt Meg. Honey, they'll turn to spots. <laughs> really, Bruce, you're so sensitive. <laughs> Hello, Lieutenant. Your partner's being protective again. That's part of his charm. How's Maggie Lynch? Just bruises. The boat's a total loss, but that was rented anyway. Well, that's the first bit of luck she's had. Her own boat had engine trouble. Did your client mention that she'd been to the police? Sure, that's the first thing we'd ask her. Well, just a simple complaint. A man was making nasty phone calls, threatening to kill her. Well, the best we could do was to tab her phone. We actually heard one of the, uh, one of the threats, but the voice was muffled. Still no place to go. So she came to us. You're off the hook. Now, that kind of literature rattles the walls downtown. Look, they know she came to me first. If you let her get hurt, I'll still take the fall. Excuse me. Here now, Lieutenant. We'll save your pension. Very funny. Look, you get any mileage on this thing, anything, and I want to know about it. Is that understood? If you stop breathing down her neck, we're on your side.
Kovacs. I've never seen them so rattled before. Where'd she go? She didn't say. Wouldn't even wait for a freckle cream. She just whoosh. There's no place to go. I'm going to get you. We who are about to be got salute you. When did you get this? He was waiting under the door. Busy little killer, isn't he? By land, by sea. Oh, honey, it's so insane. It just could be anybody in the whole world. Well, we can narrow it down closer than that. He never mentioned money. It's got to come up hate. Grudge of some kind. Oh, honey, we've been all over that. Somebody you fired or turned down for a job. A nice Maggie Lynch girl executive. She just heads a promotion. She neither hires nor fires. Miss Lynch, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. I'll come back again. Uh, no, that's all right. Vince Zale. This is Honey West. Vince owns the uh, boat rental service at the beach. It was his boat. Well, the uh, insurance company covered it. They'd like for you to sign this affidavit, if you don't oh, mind. All right. Would you? Thank you. I'm certainly glad no one was hurt. All the returns aren't in yet. Very nice meeting you. friend of hers. Alex Sebastian. Hello. Alex? Oh, it's okay. Um, when did you get back? How have you been? Well, uh, that's very kind of you, but uh, the police are, are going to handle that. Uh, Alex, where are you staying? 121 Pacific Drive, Long Beach. Is that Geneva? Seven. Oh, got it. Uh, well, maybe when things settle down, we can uh, have lunch or something. Fine. Uh, thank you, Alex. Bye. Well, uh, nothing like a few headlines to bring old friends running. I haven't heard from him since our divorce, and now he wants to know if he can help. No, no, honey. I didn't say anything. Oh, he's hardly suspect material. Alex is so gentle, he wouldn't even hurt a fly. He's not the killer type. Maggie, haven't you heard? There's no such thing. Never catch him in the truck. Who was it? I don't know, but he was in a hurry. So am I. To do what? Bug Alex Sebastian. I certainly do wish, dear Maggie, to remain safe and well, Miss West. A splendid woman, really. Charming. Endless attributes. Mr. Sebastian, we've been tippy-toeing all around it. <laughs> Whatever it is. Shall we just pounce on it? Do you know 
anything at all about the export-import business? Maggie told me you were very successful at it. Business flourished. Then I made one error. I took in a junior partner, one Frank Webb. He's the reason Maggie divorced me. Are you painting Mr. Webb as a suspect? In broad strokes, dear lady. You see, the bliss lasted only a very short while. And Maggie grew tired of supporting him. She banished him. Mr. Webb would never hold still for that sort of cavalier treatment. And he's a very violent man. Was. I beg your pardon. Maggie told me all about him. He's in no position to kill anyone. He died less than a month ago. Are you quite certain? He's in Green Lawn Cemetery. Honey, it looks like you stirred up something. Where are you? The cemetery. Had to see for himself, huh? It's wilder than that. He's grinning from ear to ear. He likes what he sees. He's leaving now. I'll try to keep an eye on him. If he goes home, that'll be easy. What do you mean? Planted a miniature TBI in his living room.
What do you know? Nothing but talent. He drives like Barney Oldfield, searches beach houses. Where are you? Lots of talent. Fred M. Cody, seaman. It's a good start. Talk to me, Freddy. Can we drive downtown? I got a lieutenant with a big anchor for you. Breaking and entering, that's all you got. Oh, no, it's bigger than that. Sebastian's murder, the try on Maggie. That wasn't me. Watch me convince the lieutenant. What do you want? The plot. And you got two seconds. You're throwing away a fortune. Look, I'll split with you. One second. Sebastian and his import business, that was a cover-up. He was a diamond smuggler. The system was foolproof. The drop was always made from Sebastian's yacht off the California coast in a metal box with an undersea marker. And a diver would pick it up later on. Where do you fit? Well, I saw them make the drop off and up. I was first officer on the yacht. Maggie know anything about it? <laughs> Are you kidding? She laid the whole thing out. She was the brains. On the last trip, well, Sebastian found out that Maggie was playing footsie with his partner. And Maggie found out that Webb had three other women. And? She sailed all by herself to make the last diamond drop. A million bucks worth. And she wouldn't tell anyone where she dropped them. Then she kissed them both off. Do you know how long I've been waiting for her to go for those rocks? Vince, uh, where does he fit? Who knows? He rents boats. Frogman, huh? I rent boats, mister. You sell diving gear, too. Well, it's just an accommodation. I uh, keep a few things. Do you happen to know is... what this is? Sure, that's a uh, valve off a faceplate. It's an old model, though. I, I don't handle this line. Hmm. Souvenir. I'm sentimental. We're almost home free. Let's get out in the chair.
Relax, darling. You're giving me the job. Come on, come on. Let's get on with it. Vince, don't fall apart now. Just one dive and it'll all be over. And it'll just be you and me and a million in diamonds. What about the two killings? Did you forget about that? What other way was there? They'd never back down. They'd always be somewhere watching, waiting for me to make the move. But this way, there are no problems. Come on, Vince. Bring him up. Now. First class. What next time? I'm so sorry, honey. You weren't supposed to get hurt. I know. I was the ironclad proof that someone was trying to kill you. Those newspaper headlines did what they were supposed to do, too. Brought Mr. Sebastian running so Vince could kill him. Quite a friend, Vince. Yes. What's going to happen when he finds out you already have the diamonds? How did... That dive you took a couple of hours ago when you brought back the little box? What's going to happen when he can't find that little box? Oh, he'll find one. But it'll make a very loud noise. You sure cover all the bases. Almost all. <laughs> Take inventory. You better count your blessings. A toast to a job well done. To Honey Weston Company. I'll drink to that. I'll even buy dinner tonight. Oh, good. I'll put Brucey to bed. Bruce? 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 What are you being so nice for? What do you want? Oh, good heavens. What's the matter? He's eating my... my vanishing cream. <laughs> vanishing cream? Oh. You think maybe... Uh... Oh, Aunt Meg, don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Hey, Where'd he go? Bruce! Brucey, baby! Bruce! Bruce. Will you... Brucey! Both of you. Look. Bruce, honestly, you can't change spots on ocelots. Hey. <laughs> 